Hey guys, so uh, let's look at some more complicated questions, okay? So here I have a question, and the question asks me to find the geometric interpretation, okay? So I need to find an equation that will satisfy this uh, modulus, okay? So the first thing that we have to do is that we have to make whatever z in here uh, whatever the z value in here into x plus yi okay so if I make z equals to x plus yi so x plus yi minus 1 plus 2i equals to 3 okay now the second part that we have to do is that we have to group the real and imaginary parts Okay. Now, <clears throat> the second step is is also very important for any kind of uh, complex question that uh, complex number question that you guys do. Okay. So that will just be uh, one minus x minus one, and then plus y minus two i equals to three. Let me just move that down. Okay, so now that would be uh, if I want to know the modulus, so that would just be x minus 1 square plus y minus 2 square equals to 3. Okay, so therefore x minus 1 square plus y minus 2 square gives me 3. Okay, now from here I can plot the geometric interpretation. So that will just be here's my argon diagram with my real axis and my imaginary axis. In this case, oops, sorry, I made a mistake. That should be a a nine. Okay, so r square is nine. So therefore, r is plus or minus three. So our translation, our center, our center is one and two, yeah. So at one, so at one, and then at two. Here's my uh, center. So from here, my radius is three, right? So I count one, two, three. So here's four, and here would be. Uh, negative 2 okay so that's my circle so this circle will set any dot on the circumference of this circle will satisfy our question our original question which is uh, z minus 1 plus 2i equals to 3 okay so any modulus in this here will be equals to 3 Okay, uh, we'll do another uh, question. Okay, guys, so uh, let's have a look at this example. Okay, so remember our first step would be to replace our z in here and also in here with x plus yi. Okay, so that will be x plus yi plus 5 equals to x plus yi minus 3 okay now the second part that we have to do is that we would have to group uh, what is the real part and what is the uh, imaginary part so that would be equals to that okay and we take the modulus so that will be x plus 5 square plus y square equals to x minus 3 square plus y square okay now the y are common on both sides so we cancel them out okay so we have some more room so then what we have to do is that we have to expand the bracket so that will be x square plus uh, 10 x plus 25 is equals to x squared minus 6x plus 9 okay 
Now again, x squared is common on both sides, so that will be uh, 16x uh, plus 16 gives me 0. So therefore, x is equal to negative 1. So when you plot this, that will be that will be negative 1 here. So your answer will be like that. Okay, and that's your geometric interpretation. So any any dot on this line will satisfy uh, the cons the constraint. Okay, the the requirement of this. Okay, so remember that each that the each loci on this point on this line is a solution okay now I hope you guys understand and uh, if you don't understand please just uh, go through it it is just as simple as replacing Z with X plus Y I grouping them together and then just solving the equations okay so if you have any other questions uh, you can leave me a message or uh, or email me Okay?